Hey, good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Lagos. And you know who it is. You know what time it is. And yes, yes, we are back. Back to bring you the vibes, intellectual conversations, dope narrations, analysis, and dissection on the illest show streaming live on television. That is Tea Time. And you know who it is. My name is the Big Daddy Mike Abdul Salam. And of course, it is Woman Crush Wednesday. And I never did this alone. Um, um, the Woman Crush Wednesday cast came yesterday, <laughs> but I'm here to supplement Mikuna Nuvez. I know you're not supposed to be seeing my face on Wednesday, but you guys love me. I know you all do, and I love you guys too. All right, so why you eyeing me? It's obvious. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with uh, the but usual guy. change for me. Uh, me. You did the whole uh, welcome to tea time. My name is Abusala, blah, blah, blah. And then you go. Uh, so, I, I was like, <laughs> who is this fellow? <laughs> Who is this fellow? And I know, like, yeah, you should know you are speaking to a professional, so it's normal. It happens. Mm. You know what I'm saying? another one? Yes, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, <laughs> how was it for you this morning? How are you? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. How are you? We ain't gonna beat you. No, no, no. Why? I got in before the rain. I feel smart now. I'm very smart. Yeah, I know. Leave me On our court. Just to add. <laughs> it's not that good. It's not good, yeah. Abdul. How are you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> what? I'm doing it. Oh my god. Okay. Shut up. Uh, the band is here. It's uh it's Women Crush Wednesday, you know, and of course usually would pinpoint someone, but today let's just uh make it general and say happy Women Crush Wednesday. We love all women everywhere. You guys are amazing, you guys are the bomb and uh, so, so help me God. Um <laughs> uh, we cannot do this conversation without the rest of you. So please do kindly join the conversation by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV African Lifestyle. Uh, drop your comments, drop your opinions, drop your thoughts, and we will respond. And we will, of course, uh, you know, get back to you. Uh, of course, you know how we do it every single time. Someone botched my intro of the training videos the last episode yesterday. Sorry. But I'm here to rectify that because I am here. So take notes next time I'm not here. Let's get the videos uh, to get your heart beating and your blood pumping. Hi, GTCO. My name is Ifunaya David. I'm five inches tall from Lagos, Nigeria. And here is my entry for GTCO Fashion Week. <laughs> Fashion week <laughs> <videos>. <laughs> to be fair, like, I've seen some amazing, like, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. Like, GT Crew have a tough job choosing, I think, because mm -hmm. there's been so many. I don't know, that's, not, that's yeah. all the entries. Yes. Hey, how's that tough job choosing? No, like, I'm just saying, generally, oh, I've generally. seen lots of really, really, like, uh, like I'm just like lovely ones. There's so many models in this Nigeria, like, all over, scattered mm -hmm. all over the yeah, gap, all the that trenches, was, and that, so. That was but cool. then, this one was quite unique because she's pregnant. So I'm just like... She said that unique. <laughs> it's really just one... Like, I don't know. I've never seen a pregnant woman actually, you know, attempt walk. to... Yeah, to walk the runway. Yeah, no. Apart from maybe an actual designer or something. This could be like a huge PR marketing stunt for GT if they actually decide to bring her on and say... Honestly, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. it was just very... That's why I said unique because even the idea to even audition or to even put an entry in... Mm. Like, I wonder what she was doing. Sure. It's like how she... She should not be surprised when the baby finally comes out and maybe say if he's cut off. But realistically <laughs> speaking, will she be able to cope? You know, they, you know, they won't play with whoever she's going to run away. for. Yeah, Yeah, they're not going to look at the fact that she's pregnant. Like, oh, let's pity her. Yeah, exactly. So will she really be able to cope? That's, that's just my own concern. could be. She definitely doesn't necessarily need to go there and say, so to say, steal the show. The fact that she's there, she's pregnant already, is like a huge spotlight on her already. And she's like, oh, look, if she's pregnant, then suddenly you start seeing the memes running around sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Look at the pregnant woman walking in the year there in your house doing nothing. <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen. But you know, they would have like rehearsals, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So that's where my own concern even comes. Unless they just make it, okay, just, you know, just can't walk. Forget about the rest of the stuff. Just walk down and walk Don't back. let me even panda to the bandwagon and, you know, general uh, opinion on this and how everybody's like, yeah, let her do it. Yeah, I don't think she should. Do it. You are pregnant. Go and sleep. Let them massage your <laughs> Go legs. Go and sleep. Let them massage your legs. Let them come and give you sugar. She's very like active. You know, she wants like to do this. Or mm -hmm. it wasn't I'm like, like, sorry to say, I don't want to sound um, authoritarian or you know too 
aggressive, but if that was my wife and you are carrying my baby up and down, <laughs> and I'll you, I will chain you somewhere with a soft chain, not a this thing. Not the soft chain. You will sit down in one place. Don't, mm -mm, I don't want you to hurt yourself. And also, equally importantly, don't spoil my son slash daughter. Don't spoil. Don't. How, how would they, how, how they, they get spoiled? Hey, could they bounce me the belly the jiggy jiggy on top uh, this thing? This baby comes out and I'm like, hey. I mean, Seriously? I don't, I don't want any Can problems. You imagine? I don't want any problems. Let's get to any media number two. God. <laughs> I cannot. Whoa! I did not expect that. I tried oh. not to laugh for me. So it's going to be just. I'm not even sure it's going to be like cringe and stiff and awkward because let's be fair, most Nigerians do not know how to do the whole sexy dance thing. But are you sure? Eh? You go give us something. N eh? Not me. <laughs> All these baddies online. Oh, that is us. Ah. But then I'm talking about like the average. Ah, no, I never no saw this coming, honestly. No, no, but I didn't see the whole um, <laughs> book. If I was, I mean, if I was your boyfriend and you decided to do that, I'd be turned off immediately. Like, for real. Oh, I didn't thought you were going to say this would be so, like, captivating. You know, this is captivating about so much. I like what I'm saying. Stop it. I might come from Alabadu, but I'm going to come to Victoria Island. Really? Thank you very much. Okay. I do not ask for a sexy dance and I get leg work. What okay. is that? So you're not doing like this for me as I'm. Oh my God. It's not me. Stop being unique. I don't, I don't like this whole. Let's get number three, please. Oh my God. Pull me back. Pull me back. Pull me back. I want to speak to somebody before you thank or refresh. There were customers that were running away from you. Pepper was running away from you. Breakthrough was running away from you. Pusho was running away from you. But at the sound of my words, those things will begin to come back to you. I said they will come back to you. I said they will come back to you. Pull me back. Pull me back. Pull me back. I want to speak to somebody. Before you thank or refresh, there were customers that were running away from you. In the camera, man. While we were off, what is he doing? While we were off, and it's just when Monolua, our lovely Monolua here, was busy bashing the camera, man. What is he doing? So, what he's doing his job. No, he's doing his job. Uh -huh. You're not going to do oh, your do job, do your now. job well. He's still not doing it well. He's in post. No, no. That's, that's, not, that's not even a good post for the church's PR. Imagine if they start seeing now that they're sleeping in church. You think people will want to come to he's that church? He's in touch to the point where his brain cannot handle the miracles anymore. So, mm. he has gone into he's in, he's, that. He was not sleep, that was a trance. Eh? It was a, a trance, was communicating okay, on the higher plane. Okay. You know, as he came back, he, he stood up. You see now, as he came back, he stood up and... He's still and, and the, it's, it's, it's the way he has he got a message. Like, like he wasn't sitting in the phone and everybody couldn't see him. He was sitting on the guy was tapping him for me like, bro, bro. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to bash the cameraman at any point because this is exactly what I used to do for my friends who used to sleep in class. I zoom in, Seriously. take their pictures, and then boom. But that's different. Yeah, but that's different. And I feel like at churches now, we should actually just we should start announcing that you know what? If you know that maybe you've just had a long week and you're just tired, please just sit at the back. Exactly. Because you know that we're going to be you know getting shots, maybe streaming live, all those things. But then yeah. ah, you know you are you. Let's go. Why am I sitting at the back? Because I want to sleep. Or at least stay in the middle, nah, not in the front. You are seeing me sleep. You must acknowledge the fact that I have been through a long week. And I have received the ministry could, uh, from in via osmosis or something <laughs> by sleeping. I, I cannot, you guys. <laughs> this is why we don't want to go on Wednesday, guys. I can't do this. 
no, I can't. Did you just say osmosis? Yes, no. I know. From the region of water concentration to water concentration, that means there's osmosis is only in water. Okay, it's only in water. Okay, it's definitely not. Let's continue. Thank you very much. Yes, let's continue. Engineering student. Exactly. I'm I'm flipping on air. I'm sorry, my fellow engineering brethren. Okay, let's move on. Those are the videos to get your heart beating and your blood pumping. And those are the training videos. And let's dive in straight into what we have for you guys today. Uh, on tea time and starting off with Nigerian singer Ricardo Banks and he has become a father for the first time uh -huh. and he and his partner welcomed their child on September 24th that was yesterday and the anniversary of his mother's passing oh. and uh, Ricardo Banks shared the news on his Instagram stories expressing his joy and gratitude hmm. it's amazing and very coincidental that it's the same time he lost someone there that's also the same time that he gained, gained. someone like that's Aww. that's fantastic. It's it's it, you cannot write scripts like this to be honest. Mm -hmm. And you know, becoming a father for the first time, it's something I, I mean, I'm obviously going to be able to experience sooner or later. But amen. I, I mean, amen. amen. But you know, it's a joy that um, I could remember when my dad was always all military and stern. Remember when he actually for a few moments described how he was when he first had me. He said Aww. it was like it was like at that moment. Everything was clear. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was like, everything was clear. Aww. It was clear. They said the Baba already said he was calculating. He was he was, he was happening. He was happening. Like he was already thinking how ah, his life is going to be good. This is life. And I'm like the, the amount of you know care and love that mm -hmm. men actually put out to their children, responsible men anyway, mm -hmm. actually put out to their children. Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. it's. It's, it's something that, you know, should be studied. We always go on about how mothers always, you know, love their child and are willing to do anything for their children and everything, and which is which is fair. Uh, because the mother's love is so overwhelming to the point that it pours, pours out and you cannot help but notice it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for fathers, it's more like that silent love. But what's going on in our heads, what's going on in the man's head is because mm -hmm. I can't tell. I mean, mm -hmm. my, 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 most fathers, most African fathers might not really be, you know, that open to their children like that. But mm -hmm. if you had a chance to peek into their heads and see what was going on about their children, particularly their first. It's always, they're always very particular, like, no, 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 most, everything I do, most for, for this boy or for mm. this girl. So it's, it's, it's nice. And especially coming on the fact that, you know, he lost his mom on that same date. Mm -hmm. So it's like a bit of consolation from God for him. And I'm really happy for him. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard from Ricardo in a long while. Yeah, so this is like, Music-wise, yeah. yeah. everything-wise. Mm -hmm. so this is like a, a very, this very... This might be why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for that vlog, Nice now. So now, pregnancy in ten months to cook. Pregnancy in three years. You see now, cook. Cooking baby. Ah, God. Yo, let's let's do it. I don't use that slang. We don't use it for life. Why do the babies cooking? I don't understand. Born in the oven. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe to bake. That's what I should have said then. You make it too true. You have a burning bread. What do you do? Buns bake in the oven. So I don't understand. The womb is not open. Yeah. Ah. I didn't make the time, then shoot the messenger. Okay, cook chef. No, I don't. No, no <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful uh, story about Ricardo Banks, really, and it's nice to, you know, see this. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, I even do every woman crush Wednesday. Now, I don't want to do it tonight again. People will always be bringing the emotional, sappy stuff. But, you know, this is nice for us to, 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 to dive into. And, you know, it's, it's not So, good. would you rather not talk about t pain? Oh, T-Pain. Mm. Is it the T-Pain or the T-Pain? I know it's not. What are we talking about T-Pain now? T-Pain, you show no content. T-Pain is just emotional. He wants hard life. T-Pain is giving us content every day, so we don't need to go there. We don't need to go there. T-Pain wishes his wife happy birthday too now. Said this is the love of his life. Oh. But let's let's not let's not that's not that's not. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that the way you don't know who T-Pain is. I know, I, but. No <laughs> let's, let's, let's take the second thing we have today and uh, okay so it's about uh, popular actress Tony Tomato real name Tony Adibola in a recent interview um, she advised married women <coughs> sorry to stay with their husbands even if they are difficult and she emphasized the importance of maintaining the family unit and warned women that leaving their marriages could lead to regrets in the future and she also shared a personal story about a friend who gave her husband Condoms to prevent him from cheating. Oh wow, to prevent him from cheating, from cheating. And she stressed the importance of being smart and protecting oneself within the marriage. Wow, wow, whoa, 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 wow, no, 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 no,
a, ah, a uh, debunk something, a disclaimer. Uh, it is not that stupid excuse that people give that it is natural for a man to cheat. I do not subscribe to it. It constitutes for a lack of self-control, priorities, and loyalty. Mm. You are just letting your constant intrusive thoughts get... It's normal. The, 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 normalcy, the normalcy is when you are a guy, mm -hmm. you are with someone, you love this lady, you want to be with this lady, maybe partner, wife, girlfriend, whatever, but then you see a more physical... Because let's be honest, you might based on sentiment and love, think that your partner is the most beautiful person in the world. But they're not. But if you are yeah. being logical, they are, you're there's always going to be something. There's always going to be like, for example, maybe your partner yeah. is like a 9 or an 8, and then you see like a 10, or even an 11 walk by. There will be that, oh wow. 11. <laughs> yeah, there will be like, oh wow, she's actually even more beautiful than my my girlfriend or my wife and I'm like, oh. I'm not sure about that part. No, 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 because nobody is drawing the comparison. Nobody sees something. Oh, they're more beautiful than, you could just appreciate yeah, that they're beautiful. That's what I was going. Okay. That's where I was going. Okay. Let me land women. Let him cook. Let him cook. Imagine. <laughs> you might be like, oh, logically, you're like, ah, oh, she's actually very beautiful. Though. But then you realize that, now nah, I have someone waiting for me back at home and I actually love her. Like, no one is more beautiful in my eyes. This is the person I'm with. There is no excuse. The normalcy is when you're admiring something. Yeah, of course, the intrusive thoughts will come and you're like, okay, okay, she just dismiss it and move on. Mm. To me, if you're a man and you're cheating, you're weak mentally. That's it. Hmm. So this way, it is natural for men to cheat. And then it's now women of the previous generation are not going to be like, hey, support him because they don't want to lose the man. On that, now women now, I like as they are smart, and just tell these older women, lose the marriage. Go and find another person or just stay on your own. You don't deserve to be with a man who doesn't think you are number one priority. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's rubbish. Which one is protect the marriage? Why are you giving him condoms to prevent from cheating? It makes no sense. So you're like, you know what? I know what to do outside, but just don't bring the child back home. So take. Doesn't make any sense. So he goes around coming back and then the girl comes back to you again. So it's it's just basically disrespect. Mm -hmm. That means you're basically telling them to like how do I say it? Let me put you back. I tell them to far more disrespect. Crying. <laughs> yes, now I tell them to endure disrespect. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. All that women. People of the older generation, they have a lot of experience, they have a lot of wisdom, they, they have a lot of things that they give us to, for us to better our lives because they've seen a lot. Mm. But sometimes, no disrespect to anybody from the previous generation watching this, but sometimes you people say rubbish. I'll be honest. Yes, now, it makes no sense. And I'm going all out here because <laughs> this thing rubbish. has been triggering me for a while. When I mm -hmm. see women especially, they are constantly disrespected in marriage, saying, mm. stay with him. Endure. No marriage is going to be easy or smooth. Perfect, There's nothing yeah. like a fairy tale marriage, but it gets there are levels, man. No, yeah. you just put hey, stamp your foot and like now. I'm not yeah. having this. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Why would nah? Well, I don't know. I've said on my own. I've granted. I have to say this is the wisest I've heard TV. And I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that this is coming from a man. Honestly, because when like, women talk, it's always like, yo, people are doing too so much. But now that it's not happening. for me again. Stop for me again. It's okay. Uh, no, that it's was... not easy now. No, because women get a lot of disrespect, and I see it constantly. <laughs> and, and then they are still the ones that are told to endure and, mm -hmm. you know, hold it in. And I'm like, Oh, they're just trying now. to save the marriage. Oh, just, just so there can be peace. I'm like, but if there really isn't Thank peace. You. Do you understand? The that? fact that the man has gone out to cheat on that marriage is done. Maybe, maybe if the man now shows remorse and like I'm not going to do it again, then you can. And he now, actually doesn't do it. But again. if the man does it, they will not go. Stop saying you want to allow. Like, it doesn't make any sense. sense. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. if there are problems that come in marriage, but not that. That's mm -hmm. disrespectful. Mm -hmm. That's that's that's. Mm -mm, I can't. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm not. I used to think basically that um, maybe the fact that I keep telling people, you know, I tell people a lot outside, I can't cheat, I can't cheat, and then they're like, it's a lie. You haven't seen something that makes you. I'm like, mm -hmm. it's not a matter of sentiment. I'm so in love with the person I am currently with that I'm, it's a matter of logic for me. I stress to get this one person, mm -hmm. and me naturally, I don't like stress. <laughs> you want to stress over another person, and then when that first person I stressed over gets to know that the second person <laughs> is there because double stress, mm -hmm. and I'm not in the middle. I can't deal with that. I'm just trying to avoid stress. I'm just trying to avoid stress. That's basically it. <laughs> and it's a valid reason. It's not like I'm judging anybody that cheats, but you guys do your thing. But me, I don't what like this. It's not like you're judging. Why do we have a problem calling out what is wrong? 
Because mm-hmm. why, when in these kind of scenarios, you know something is blatantly wrong, you know people, people are now like, you know, oh, but it's not like. A lot of people watch us here, so I don't want to be. Why don't you as if you're just. No, I have, have starboard privileges outside, and a lot of the men have. A lot of the men have starboard privileges because they cheat. So I don't want to. No, but if it's wrong, it's wrong. Cheating is wrong. Well, I'm not judging here. It's just like It's not like so many murders are on. Oh, I'm not judging. Does that make any sense? Exactly. Hmm. It's wrong. I'm not going to sit here and empower wrong behavior. This is where it starts from. So cheating is wrong. Yeah, it's woman crush Wednesday, so let's leave it for you. No problem. Ah, so if it wasn't woman crush Wednesday, <laughs> you will still endorse cheating. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm-hmm. Mondays are no more motivational Mondays. Man crush yeah. Monday. Monday. I'm not going to say that. Even though I knew so you were going to say that. that. So, <laughs> but the point, you will now go and endorse cheating on man crush Monday. Don't be fair, I don't think... Jokes, seriousness, as I, I can't endorse cheating. Yeah. Because I, I consider yeah. it highly disrespectful. Mm-hmm. I... I do not. In fact, I feel like also cheated. it's just the consideration they teach it to us in primary school. Mm-hmm. How would you feel if somebody the golden rule yes. treats others uh, how you want to be treated? Mm-hmm. Most men that cheat can they take it? They cannot. That's and just, to be fair, that is the truth. This is it's another argument because when a woman really. cheats, it's way worse. Can you That's the it? thing that they will not say is, oh, you know, if a man cheats, his it's emotions are not even there. But if a woman cheats, you know that because it's coming from a very illogical and like, rational excuse. Excuse uh, you? If you're attributing cheating down to a biological need, that's, they, that's, that's just wrong. It's just mm-hmm. the base. It's, it's the main thing and infantilizing men. But, I mean, them but, like they don't but when a woman cheats, it's them. really, really worse because it hurts the man badly. Mm. It's not that the, the cheating of the man doesn't hurt the woman, but, you know, there's a, there's a very then, complex thing about it. I don't know how to explain it. Don't realize that before you do what you want to do with someone Don't say me, me, I don't. I'm not necessarily talking to you because I know Abdul Salam has like a strong anti-cheating policy. I beg, and I don't have a problem. My mama is, my mama is watching. My mama is watching. If I cheat, my mom will literally come here with machetes. I don't, I don't know. We know that you're, you're one of the good ones. All right. And let's move on to the last thing before uh, we go for a music break, and it's about actor Daniel Etim F. Young, who has sparked a social media debate after revealing that a friend living in Lagos <laughs> spends a staggering two million naira monthly on groceries for a family of three. And the revelation has left many Nigerians questioning the authenticity of the. Why are they questioning it? That is deep in. While some find it hard to believe that such a large sum could be spent on food alone. Others have shared similar experiences suggesting that the high cost of living in Lagos might justify the expenditure. Whoever is questioning the claims mm-hmm. probably does not go outside or is still living under a rock. I'm telling you. Hmm. But, but two million are a month. Listen, on a family um, of three. Groceries. Okay, there might be groceries. some excesses okay. for that, that kind of amount to come out, mm-hmm. no doubt. Mm-hmm. But even if you remove the excesses, I'm very sure you would see nothing less like a, like a million or at least at the very least 800,000, which is still much on groceries alone. If you want to buy yeah. what... I think it, it could be excesses wild. or it could be that they are buying in bulk so that maybe they don't have to... But they said a month. A month. A month. Mm-hmm. Well, that means it's excesses. So there, there are different angles. I, I feel that there are different angles. So depending on how... If it's a family of three, there's, there's probably like maybe a child or a baby. Mm. If it's a baby and they're buying formula, it is valid because... Really? That's about, it's yeah, expensive. Yeah. It's expensive <laughs> and it's worse because, um, you know, a, a lot of things that are being produced now, they are cutting down on the sizes. Mm-hmm. So the prices are rising. But, but the quantity, the, the quantity, the quantity is it's worse. It's more expensive to feed a baby than a... Than it's always been more expensive. It's always been more expensive. It's just that now it's more prominent and obvious because of... Economy. There are certain formulas that I see that, you know, like, babies were using as far back as maybe, like, 2010. I saw the prices were still reasonable. And you check those prices today, mm. even even just about, like, a year or two years back, and you're like, what are you people eating? And Thank, <laughs> thank you very much for even bringing that into, like, baby food, oh baby accessories, pampers or diapers, milk. It's... milk. You have to buy a stroller if the baby is still learning how to walk. That's why I try this baby. They encourage them to start crawling before they can even walk or something. <laughs> Because there's no money for stroller, but uh, from this person, I'm very sure he's living mm-hmm. life well. So, oh yeah, because to be fair, these could be people shopping like Hartleys and exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. not yeah. Eb- not. Well, I'm just saying, Eba knows. Eba knows. Not the super, the market is like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably shopping. But what about my daughter? Things I do. Yes, yes, it's expensive. It's terrible now. They are expensive, but. Expensive. Expensive. My mom told me something once because she likes to come back home whenever she gets back from the market and give like breakdowns and analysis mm-hmm. on whatever she spent 
just so that she can talk about it because mm -hmm. keeping that kind of thing inside <laughs> can make you like one month. I'm telling you. She told me back as a like I think back in like 2000, early mm. 2000 when I was too young, like a kid, that she'd go to my top with 5,000 around, she'd come back into the house with baskets, not nylons, baskets of potatoes, onions, uh, peppers. Really? Now she goes into my top with 5,000 and she comes back in with a nylon, very small nylon. My top was like the hot spot for discount food yeah. items because that is where everything gets offloaded here in Lagos. Okay, before so then before they dispatch to retailers, just go directly wholesale, get your stuff there, go back home at like a massive discount. Mm -hmm. But now, even the retail and the wholesale, it's the same <laughs> thing. So what are we saying? That's even for my job. Not to talk of the places you mentioned, like the mm -hmm. mega mouth, the supermarkets, mm -hmm. the uh, Palms, uh, ShopRite, Hartley's, mm -hmm. Ebano. Ebano is mostly okay. Who else can we even think about again? Them. Yeah, there are some busy, there are some busy supermarkets where it's just imported, like yeah. produce. Yeah. So yeah. that could so be that where we shopping. Mm -hmm. Even the, strawberry even the, the I don't know, even the trenches were <laughs> gender, but Boku, Boku said they are cheap. Mm. <laughs> everything is. Everything is. Um, very, very, so if very, they're feeding like a baby monthly, that baby is probably going to have at least like hundred k to, to themselves. Yeah. So there's oh, that, no. and then the prices of tomatoes really? and peppers and yam. Have you heard the price of yam? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just one. I think the last time I heard one was about three thousand. I don't know if it's because of where I live. Three days is even cheap. Three days is even cheap. And that was where sure. the prices have come down. Yeah, unless the prices have which is come down or gone up. Yeah, so no, it's come, come down. Oh, that's gone up. No, it's come down. I've heard. I heard the yam for like five, five k, like a few maybe months ago. One. I haven't seen this thing like. So it's come down. Two, three. If it's but come but down. I mean, I, let's not dispute that guy. He could be spending two million a month because I, I if, if I if I actually do like an estimate of what we spend in our house. That I'll do that I'll be using to catch food here. <laughs> because it's not even a family of three. Mm -hmm. Five, and we have six cats. Now three. That one, you, that's your problem. It's a really No, that one, I don't feel any sorry for you at all. <laughs> at all. Cat food per month. Cat food per month. Cat food per month is about... So there's a family of humans and a family of cats. cats. So yes, me... now. Cat no, I don't, no complain. No, moving on. Okay, let's remove the cat food. Moving on. Well, keep it there. Yeah, anything you see, take it like that. Because this human is going to collect six cats to feed. I don't understand. Humans that's... Anyway. Humans that haven't been... Even if you want cats. What is that? What is that? I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't want to say, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Just give them two more food. I don't like 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 buy the synthetic factory-made cat food. We buy... We do the food organically for them. And Aww. it's still expensive. Fish! Oh, so Fish! Oh, so cute. So cute. Aww. He needs his cats to eat. Human is not eating healthy processed food. food. It's cats that's in organic. Literally, Cold say, egg. as a lot of the bully is bullying people. Cold it's egg. Egg. It's so happy. It's the truth, it's though. Organic. Oh, that's not okay. Then. Anyways, it's nice that you care for your cats. It's very cute. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, these, these people have started bullying me again. And, you know, uh, those are the stories that we had for you for the first half of the show. And uh, let's go for a quick music break. We will be right back with the remainder of the stories. Uh, do not go anywhere. It's still tea time here on Plus TV Africa. Featuring. He's a feat for me. What? Why is that going to be like a millennial? That's all right. It's, uh, it's, it's funny. It's me alone. Strange. Please, thank you very much. <laughs> it is still Tita. These girls, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. No, like, like, I don't process it. I don't know. 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 No problem. You left me alone with these people. No problem. Oh, so that's what I don't know. Yes, man. These people. Mm. We should mm. have an episode with us three and you, four with Priscilla. Us. Four of us mm -hmm. on the show. Uh, yeah. I would... We want to board the studio. Happy boys, Captain. You want to set you on fire? Yeah, the studio. Just 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 the studio. And uh, the first set of stories we've taken them, and in case you missed them, uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, wonderful stories. We got stories from Daniel Letty Mef Young uh, talking about uh, two million era worth of groceries <laughs> from a friend. Uh, we got uh, two years the Adibola popular in story tomorrow to say that you know <laughs> men should, uh, women should continue encouraging their husbands <laughs> to cheat. 
we let's not sugarcoat because that's exactly what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who else are we talking about? Ricardo Banks. Yeah, Ricardo Banks is a father now. Yeah. Congratulations again, Ricardo. Congrats. All right, let's uh, let's get on to the second uh, segment of stories. And starting off with uh, something the medical doctor said online. So he sparked controversy by listing 20 foods commonly <laughs> consumed by Nigerians that he considers unhealthy. His list, which includes staples like shawarma, pizza, and foreign rice, has drawn criticism from many Nigerians who disagree with his assessment. And while some have expressed concerns about the potential health risks associated with certain foods, others have defended their dietary choices and questioned the doctor's qualifications to make such pronouncements. In addition to the list of unhealthy foods, the doctor also shared a list of 20 healthy Nigerian meals as an alternative. And I'm saying... The things um, that he said are unhealthy, I think. The healthy things. Plantain, are healthy? Plantain is part of the healthy things, Abi. Because if it's not part, there are problems. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, don't want to, I don't understand. Yes, how you say plantain is not healthy? So I what? don't only mean... I wish you had a list here with you so we could just go through. No, I can see the list. It's on display right now. I'm saying, okay, 20 most healthy. Okay, the plantain is number one. I think it's the I believe it. I believe it. Are you a plant? How much are you plantain? Plantain is beautiful. I did not know you love plantain like that. See, the way you just said that, love, is exactly how I feel whenever I hear plantain. Wow. When I was still in school, there was a restaurant. I usually go there to get my food, dinner, lunch, whatever. And uh, they have this very annoying habit of not having plantain. Okay. Mm-hmm. The rice is nice. The beans is nice. The food, but the other, the other food I order is nice. But then there's no plantain. I'm like, why don't you have plantain? Mm-hmm. So at first it became sort of a we don't have it kind of thing. We don't have it kind of thing. But because I became a regular customer, the people who serve the food were not like ah. Is that guy that used to order plantain? That was a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just know you for. I find it now. Now I find it now. Uh, I see them going back to the kitchen. I was with patient and I'm like, yeah, pre plantain. I don't eat food without plantain. It's an appropriate accessory to yes. food. Yes. Fair enough. Yes. So the things that he said were not good for you noodles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, spaghetti. Ah, um, we are having problems. What's more? Snacks. So I'm guessing it means pastries. Okay, I can't do that. That's what Nigerians call snacks. Butter. I Sardines. Ah! <laughs> That's this not is all food spaghetti that you have. Semo. Ah, no. because I was surprised that plantain was it sounded like plantain was taking the place of semo. I thought semo was your number no, one. Plantain is above everybody. Yeah. Really? Everybody, okay. plantain is above everybody. A banga soup. What was my business with that one? I don't know. Um, in, I don't know. Okay, imported fruits. Imported okay. fruits. Well, maybe because what? of the fertilizers and chemicals they use, so I could agree with that. Okay, what else did he say? Yeah, like foreign rice bread. Bread is unhealthy, mm-hmm. I agree. Even though we eat it a lot. How mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians and bread, okay. Um biscuits, okay, yeah, obviously. Ice cream. Fair enough. That's pretty uncontroversial. The only thing I have a problem with is the spaghetti. Well, to be honest, I know noodles are unhealthy, but in yeah. me is just not something that I can ever like. No, I, I'll actually take the items from noodles because the wax, like, the wax on it is too much. So you yeah, have but if you, I feel like, it. how often did you see noodles? Ah, before I took the items, more every day. Exactly. Every day. So it's fast and sandy. Just no, but that's what I'm trying to say. Indomie. That one was too much, obviously. Mm-hmm. So in moderation, I feel like I think I've eaten noodles like how many times this year? Maybe like four times this year. Yeah. Yeah. You know your job be that. <laughs> you know I don't eat noodles yeah, I know a lot. So like when I do eat, I had noodles the other day, and I was just like, oh my god, this is so like it's the treat. Ah. So I think this is. That's think that's the kind of way you should have. I feel like that's the kind of way you should eat these things. I think you can still eat them, but in moderation. In moderation yeah. yeah. I have issue with sardines though because I have heard that sardines are good for you. They're yeah. like they're actually good unless they're looking at. I think a lot of these foods. It's really like the sodium, the fats, mm. okay, minus the sugar aspect. I don't, I don't know where spaghetti is coming in. Maybe it's from the processing. I mean, to be fair, okay. maybe the processing. Maybe yeah. that's where the issue is. Mm. I know that noodles, sodium. That's this is even where the problem is. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. But you said part of the healthy things you said was yam cooked with peel. Do people eat that? Yes. Really? Yeah. As in the bark. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> so that's what that is even potatoes. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. You know, that, that doesn't look safe. They do. What? Trust me, they do. I know. It's not, that's why I'm not surprised. Is it safe? Yeah. 
No, okay, okay. I think I know roasted. Yeah. I don't know about boiled. No, not boiled. The roasted. Okay, but roasted. Yes, yeah, roasted, roasted, roasted is a thing. Roasted is a thing, but you eat the peel as well. Yeah. But that's well, interesting exactly people just take the pills off to make um what's that thing a little boy as far as planting is number one <laughs> I don't have a we didn't even go to the healthy the list only thing is, the only problems i have with the unhealthy list are semu <laughs> i know he has a point semu can't be unhealthy because semu truly, can go man because truly yes, even semu though I, been. I have a personal preference for semu above all other muscle or swallow foods are you serious yeah everybody everybody oh has the same reaction semu in the day that is here synthetic <laughs> like the synthetic the, the synthetic nature of semu is prominent oh, compared to others that, what even you know where bar comes from cassava starch amala comes from yam flour uh, powder jam comes from yam that you pound. Mm. We don't know where semu because they say it's wheat. They say it's this and that. It just but me, I personally like semu. So I know it's unhealthy, but I have a problem based on personal preference. I don't agree. Which other one is spaghetti? I don't know. Yeah, I think the process is more of the processing. The processing. Yeah. Sardines. As guys, I refuse to agree with that one. Yeah. Unless you are coming from the sodium perspective, that's yeah. the only thing I agree with. But anyway, that is list. As far as my thing is there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the South African man has expressed his appointment about discovering that a couple who met at his wedding two years ago got married without inviting him. Wow. And the man shared his feelings on social media to the couple as ungrateful <laughs> and his post to start discussions online with many users. I don't know question the couple's motives. Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. How does it look at my wedding? You don't invite me. Are you rude? I, mean, I, I should yeah. be the chairman of the day. Legit. Because only oh, yes. I invited you to my own. And I'd not invite you to more, there's a problem. No, <laughs> you met your partner at my wedding. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, you guys will not you be having a wedding today time. if not for my I wedding. Friend. Oh, God, yes. who are you? Excuse you me, you need to me. I need royalty in that relationship. It's a of coincidence. That's not the that's that's my wedding. I don't care where it's coincidence at my wedding. Exactly. So, by virtue of that. The least you can do is give me a special chair. A special, or I should acknowledge the fact. But they were not even invited. Talk less of getting any special treatment or anything. Do you both smell that? Smell what? This mother smells like entitlement. How is that entitlement? It's, it's my fault for inviting you to my wedding. Exactly. <laughs> that way, that's just that's is it true. It doesn't make any sense, really. Oh, okay. Because if they're getting invited, they're obviously friends to you know maybe like the couple. You can't meet friends. We're not friends. You can't meet your wife or your husband on my own wedding, and then me, I don't get. I should be on the high table. Ah, oh, okay. Period. And I should have a waiter to myself, right. caterer to myself. Period. Okay. Yeah. This not for me. There will be no you. Would I exactly. Never Period. Ladies and gentlemen, for this place becomes a <laughs> home of entitlement where it is me, me, me all around. Uh, sadly, this is where we might even have that out. Oh, you put in anything. This is where we draw the curtain for today. Sadly, it's been a blast. It's been a wonderful show today, and the girls have been amazing. And of course, me, you know now, no more. And for the, thanks for watching as always. Uh, join the conversation on social media with the hashtag, hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV African Lifestyle. And you can also watch Tea Time on RG TV and in London on Ben Television and DSTV Channel 408. A big thank you just to the lovely ladies who I have encroached again, once again, in Woman Coach where Wednesday. You're welcome. Yeah, no, don't worry, I'll leave you. Don't come next. Yeah. yeah, I should not come next time. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, by your command. <laughs> you you guys. And thank you to the entire production team. Thank you to the uh, my cameraman on standby. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you uh, to all our amazing viewers. Without you guys, of course, you and I, like I always say, we wouldn't be here. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name still remains. The Big Daddy Mike Abdul Salam and I will catch you guys later. Peace.